fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Hi guys, welcome back to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you are not. Today we're going to be talking about a really important topic. Yes guys, we are going to be talking about snitching. Is there anything wrong with being a snitch, yeah? Does not snitching lead to people becoming victims of crime, yeah? Is no snitching a policy that needs to go? Is it a street policy that is stupid that it ever came in in the first place, yeah? So let's talk about it. Okay, so snitching is obviously when you tell something, you tell the police something, yeah? Now, here's my thing. If you do a crime with somebody, you're both in it together, and one of you gets caught, and then you inform the police about the other person that maybe done that crime with you, that is obviously snitching, yeah? Now, that sort of snitching, I feel like, at the end of the day, if one of you got caught, why make the other person get caught as well like just take the punishment don't be a snitch but then again at the end of the day there's other types of snitching if you are going to be a victim of crime yeah somebody's threatening you you know self you're at risk your family's at risk your friends are at risk yeah why would you not snitch yeah there's so many stabbings there's loads of stabbings there's loads of shootings there's loads of killings and i just want to say this isn't just a problem here in london or in the uk this is like a worldwide problem it's a problem in america it's a problem in jamaica it's a problem in mexico it's a problem all around the world where people who are more from poorer backgrounds live in herds you know estates people that maybe need social housing people that don't have money have literally been forced to just stick to this no snitch policy some of it come about obviously because of things like police harassment, police have previously harassed people and stuff like that. And it's like, don't snitch, don't snitch, don't snitch, okay? But how about if you're not snitching and snitching is making you a victim of crime, okay? A lot of people who have maybe been stabbed, shot, you know, we even see with celebrities being shot all the time, you know, being stabbed, being killed as well. So, you know, anyone who really comes from like, you know, a background that's maybe not so wealthy, you know, they're not poor, they don't have money they're even more likely to be victims of, you know, crime, yeah? If, yeah, you know someone wants to shoot you, you know you owe someone money, you know someone's after you, you know you're going to become a victim of crime, yeah? Why should you not snitch and get the help that you need, yeah? Because I feel like no snitching is actually what's making um, a lot of us become victims of crime, yeah? And at the end of the day, street justice or whatever, that shit don't work, yeah? Because it's like tit for tat, tit for tat. That don't work, yeah? So, that's basically what I'm talking to you about today. It's the same thing with um, the Afi Rose thing. Like, she's obviously, you know, the lady I talked about in like, the previous video a while ago. The one that was calling out the, you know, sex offenders from South London. Okay. That's not snitching. If somebody's done something to you and you want to call it out, that's not snitching. That's talking your business. And if you want to seek help from the police, why should you, yeah? Because at the end of the day, as a normal person, you're not going to want to go against, like, people who you may know are like hardcore gangsters or criminals, yeah? There's certain areas where like certain gang members, they run the whole area, they run the herd, there's dons in certain places, you know, on certain estates, there's certain gangs that no one wants to fuck with, you know, nobody's gonna mess with them gangs. But at the end of the day, if you're becoming a victim of crime, because, you know, they're targeting you or they're targeting your kids or they're grooming your kids to put them on the street, to be dealing, they're trying to take over some people's flats because they want to put like, you know, their drugs in there, got them holding guns, they're threatening you, you're attacked by one of these people, you're at risk. If the no snitch policy goes, you can just call the police like any other person, yeah? I feel like, yeah, people who are like middle class, you know, people that, you know, come from like wealthier backgrounds, yeah? I feel like no one calls them up and makes them have to be in this no snitch policy. Someone breaks in the house and they know who it is, they are snitching straight away and nobody is judging them for that. And, you know, I just feel like, you know, is it a policy that just needs to kind of go? Because is it just making you, like, a victim of crime? And there are obviously things like, you know, snitches get stitches. Da -da -da, everyone knows about that. Even if you're in prison, they're bullying you in prison. They're picking on you in prison. They're threatening to kill you in prison. They're forcing you to have things brought in. You know, if you are snitching on them, you know, you're going to get beaten up. You're going to be seen as a snitch and you can't be seen if you're in like jail neither to be seen as a snitch right but why should you not be able to sleep in your jail cell and be scared and not be able to say nothing because you're going to be seen as a snitch if everybody does such fucking snitching yeah the situation is over it's gone yeah there'll be less people grooming people and grooming kids yeah 
on estates and all these different places, yeah? And, you know, forcing people to be involved in crime if you don't want to be in it. There will be less people that are, like, getting girls, like, blackmailing them, trafficking them, getting them to sleep with guys and give them the money, pimping them, and stuff like that, because they would know they're going to get snitched on. The problem with the no-snitch policy is it would take, like, everybody to be like, fuck the no-snitch policy, let's get rid of the no-snitch policy, yeah? Because it's making all of us become, you know, more likely to be a victim of crime. But obviously, if you're the one person that decides, you know, I'm going to be a snitch, I don't agree with the no-snitch policy, it's not going to be effective because you're going to be at risk of all the other people who think snitching is a problem, yeah? But at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, is it time to just, you know, eliminate some of the rules of the street? Should these, should these, like, rules just be going? Things that people, like, you know, have stuck to for years. But we know what's going on in the streets. Like, people are getting stabbed every day. People are getting killed every day, yeah? You know, should we just... Like, we could clean up our areas a lot if we just fucking talked. Now, I know one of the things is that, like, people, they don't trust the police. You know, they feel like, you know, you're going to tell the police and they're not going to protect you. And I know that's a really big problem, like... They're not going to get every person who snitches and put them into, like, witness protection. Keep them safe. And even if they were to put you in witness protection, like, you probably wouldn't want to move. No one wants that kind of hassle and stuff like that. But I feel like, you know, something, you know, has got to change because the murder rate's out of control. There's too many people being stabbed over just stupid things, petty things, kids being groomed by dealers and shit like that on the estate and just around in general, like... Why should you, like, you know, see someone grooming your child or grooming a friend's child or grooming any child, yeah, and just, like, turn a blind eye? Why should you turn a blind eye? Would you turn a blind eye to, you know, some paedophile that's abducting a child off the street? You wouldn't. And I feel like this is where the no-snitch policy has kind of got us. It's got us to get a point where people can, you know, victimise us, yeah? And it's like we have to just, you know, be quiet, not say nothing, deal with it privately, or, you know, just put out with the bullshit, yeah, because being a snitch is, you know, a dangerous game. It's dangerous for a lot of people. No one wants to snitch and stuff like that. And, like, as I said, it's not just a UK problem. It's a problem, like, every country. Like, whoever, whatever country you're from and you're watching it now, if, you know, you probably can think of so many people that, you know, or you may live in that poor area yourself, and you know the no snitch policy has been going on for a long time and there's so many victims of crime and some people even if their own family members are victim of crime they still can't tell because they know the repercussions of like being a snitch and saying something so i really want to know what you guys think should we this no snitch policy just freaking go is that shit stupid because it means people that are from like a poorer background who don't come from so much like money and stuff like that are more and more likely to become um, victims of crime because people, when they do a crime to you, they absolutely know you are not going to snitch, yeah? There's nothing really there preventing them from doing a crime for you or doing you a wrong because they know you're 100% not going to tell. And also, another thing I want to say before I actually go is I want to talk about the don't drop the soap. Like, this has been going on for time, yeah? So if you don't like someone to go in jail or if they've done a crime, everyone says don't drop the, um, the soap, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't drop the soap. It's been going on for so long. I want to say, yeah, is that a wrong thing to say, yeah? Don't drop the soap, yeah? Because is that literally, like, um, are we normalising or saying it's okay if someone does a certain thing for them to be sort of raped in prison? Now, don't get me wrong, yeah, there's some people out there and, like, <coughs> their crimes are horrendous, yeah? So bad and everything like that. But let's be realistic. There's some guys, they go to prison and, you know, I've gone to prison and it's like, you know, some people are innocent or, you know, they didn't do anything that bad and they're actually in prison. And obviously, by saying don't drop the soap and everything, it's kind of not taking, like, male rape really seriously. And I'm not talking about the absolute scumbags that have raped, like, 50 people in jail. You know, I'm sure no one's, like, at home pressed, crying, so sad if something happens to them. But just this whole thing where it's, like, prison rape, you know, I don't think it's taken that serious because a lot of people feel like, okay, the people that are raped in prison, they're all criminals, yeah? But bear in mind, some people in prison are actually innocent, yeah? Not everyone in prison is actually guilty of the crime. Some people, they done, like, accidental things. It was an accidental crime. You know, they maybe they, um, you know, accidentally, you know, not someone over. And I'm not saying it's okay, but it was an accident and they're in jail. There's some people, as I said, they're in prison. They don't deserve it. Some people are, like, you know, domestic violence, victims. It's led to them being in prison. You know, there's so many reasons you can be in prison, yeah? You can be in prison because, you know, you've done a petty crime, done a petty robbery. And, you know... 
being raped in prison, you know, that's not acceptable, yeah? And I feel like maybe we should just drop some of these things because I feel like at the end of the day, if, you know, someone we knew was to end up in prison or we personally was to end up in prison, we wouldn't want, like, prison rape to be seen as, like, a funny thing. It's just like, oh, don't drop the soap. So casual, it's not really a casual thing. It's serious, especially because some people are going to prison, they're actually really young, it's their first time, you know, offenders, they've not done anything that serious. And they're at real risk of, um, you know, rape when they go to prison. And I feel like this is another thing that we need to start taking a bit more seriously. Guys, please let me know what you think, yeah? Um, you know, is this a problem in your country that, you know, you're a victim of crime or people you know are a victim of a crime and they can't snitch? Like, it's a worldwide problem to me and I feel like, you know, we need to sort that out so we can, like, you know, not be victims of crime. We can see less stabbings, less shootings, less people that we sort of even people we admire on the stage dying like we can just see less of this going on we can relax we can let our kids we can we can you know relax we can let our kids out of the house we can go out of the house we can know if anything was to happen to us we would be able to get the support and you know and maybe the crimes would be investigated better when they know they can get information off us because we're definitely tired of you know being victims of crime Everybody's sick of it. We're sick of the stabbings, the shootings, the murders that are going on, as I said, in so many countries. America, the UK, Jamaica, Mexico. The, the list is endless. Everywhere. Everywhere it's going on, yeah? And the no snitch policy is running all around the world. You know, was that shit created and had, you know, a long time ago? And, you know, is it ruining, you know, society now? 2022, we just don't want this same madness going on. We don't want to hear about all these stabbings, these shootings, these killings. Like, we want this shit to be over, deaded, done, yeah? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Please like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Please subscribe so you don't miss a goddamn thing. Let's go.